Yo, we're back, boys! It's been a long time since we've seen this game, eh? Oh, yeah, eh? A little bit of yeah, that for... Secret of Evermores. Let me just bring up this... Oh, nice porn, uh... You can't see Tabs that. open there? No, you can't see that. You had Gelboro well, I mean, open, hope, I saw I it. OBS. No, OBS, a... OBS, OBS yep. didn't see it. No, no. Alright. Oh, Alright, okay. we're fine. <laughs> We're perfectly fine. I thought they could see that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah, so I got a little bit of a walkthrough up, because we've got another maze coming up with all these secret formulas and items. Like, kill the goddamn skeletons. No, those things are so annoying to kill, man. Oh. Does there, does there like the Avenged Sevenfold, uh... Emblem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, what's that? It looks like a pearl with wings that has to piss real bad. Do you, don't you remember that? No. Uh, when we fought that statue, and the, no. the thing... So back in the other world, we fought that statue as the last boss for that area, and then Tiny yeah. came and threw that thing. Oh, we is this like, the maze we were doing? The dog maze? No, that... Or did we finish that? Yeah, we finished that. Why does that woman have a mustache? I believe it's blue lips. Uh oh. She's got a nice ass. Yes, she does. <laughs> Look how that's square a, it is. That's a donk. You can take the girl out of the honky tonk, but you can't take the honky tonk out of the girl. Very that was true, an old country friend. song that I wish I'd never listened to. Okay, so let's do a, let's do a hard save, eh? See you later. Country girls are hot. I like country go black girls. Okay, head I'm down two screens. Okay, you guys talk while I do this, okay? Well, no, let's just not talk, Eric. <laughs> let's fuck Mike. You know what's funny is on this, uh, I'm glad you have a walkthrough because continually on this Let's Play, we've seen that you don't remember this game as well as you thought you did. Well, like, this is like, it's like a... Like, no, no, he's got a point. This is like a different thing, though. This will, like, you will get lost in this motherfucker. Which I guess the other ones for the same thing. I'm already like, what? Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Out. Down two, two screens. So there's one... And here's two. And then go to right. Oh. See? I didn't even see that. Right. Right. I don't like this poodle. I miss the whip it. I, like I don't the like the poodle either. So I what's actually... The next, what's the next dog for him? Oh, you'll see. I want to know now, though. Okay, wait, wait. Um... I watched a speedrun of Evermore, and what I said about the Whippet being the fastest dog... <coughs> completely wrong. I'm not surprised. He's- I think he's like the slowest, they were saying. <laughs> the exact uh, opposite of what you said. Not surprised. Well, okay, prehistoric... ...dog... ...had the f slowest walk speed, but the fastest run speed. Left one, down two, and left one. Okay. Mike, did you ever play Skyrim? Uh, I've tried. He used to, but then he took an arrow to the knee. I Sh shut up. I, <laughs> I tried to play Skyrim a bunch, and once I get into the first town, I just lose interest. I wonder if those people who got arrow to the knee tattoos regret it now. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure they do. I think like 80% of people who get tattoos end up regretting it. I think there's been an actual study, and that was the percentage. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, because most people that get tattoos, it's like a one-off thing. It's like, oh, I did it when I was young to be edgy and cool. And now they're like, uh, yeah, now I wish I didn't do it, because now I'm fat and old, and it's stretched and the colors faded, and uh, I don't have my life together. 
I once knew a guy who got drunk and got a pop tab tattooed on his neck. I'm sure he regrets that. Yeah, I'm like sure he does. I mean, I feel like people that have like sleeves and shit, those are the people that don't regret it because they're like actual tattoo enthusiasts. Right. It's I the people who get like sleeve. one thing Yeah. Once in a moment of like weakness or whatever you want to call it, then end up regretting it. Ow. My ex has like 30 tattoos and I'm like, she's like, I'm getting a new one. And I'm like, what, what's it going to be this time? And she's like on her shoulder, she's getting uh, a rabbit, like an old man rabbit sitting in an easy chair, reading a book and smoking a pipe. Cool, I guess. <laughs> If I ever got had to, it'd have to be a bear of some sort. For Gare, uh, Gare Bear? Yeah. And I'm just thinking uh, it's going to be one of those cheesy tattoos where it's like the bear claw. And then it looks like it's like ripping my skin away. Oh, yeah. You can like see the like the muscle underneath. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you said know. this. I don't, I don't like those ones. Yeah, I don't like those either. I don't like tribal tattoos either. Oh, you're sick tribals, bro. I see. Mike, I don't like any of your tattoos except for the cock you have on your chest. You don't have tribals, Mike. Oh, Eric, you know nothing about me in my life. Speaking of the cock in his chest, though, I had this one buddy who, like, back in the day when we were in high school, so, like, when none of us could actually ever get tattoos, anytime anybody would say, like, you know, I'm going to get a tattoo of this when I'm older, he'd always go, why don't you get a cock tattooed coming up your throat, stopping at your chin, and then your tongue coming out of your mouth, licking the tip of it? Get, no, no, and then have your tongue, like, surgically altered to look like the tip of a penis. You just stick out your tongue, and it looks like you have a dick coming out your mouth. <laughs> Although, I do like Mike's uh, Kamina tattoos, actually. Those are pretty alright. Yeah, they are technically tribal. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm thinking of, like, the, the traditional tribal that, like, all, yeah, the, like the, all, the, all the frat bros get. Like the yeah, douchebag like and the tap and has shirt. Sure. Yeah, yeah. The ones with, like... Does, would, would the ones with like thorns and barbed wire would those be considered tribal? Where it's just like yeah. a, a oh, thorns, thorns is thorn. like what I what, what I think of of tribals is like those interwoven lines with thorns. Yeah, that's what I think of. Is that's like when I think traditional tribal or like the, the frat bro tribal tattoos. Yeah, and I think most of those are regretted. <laughs> Oh, my Maybe slides. not now, but years down the road, yes. We, we got talking about a conversation that I was really interested in, and now I'm lost. Mike, pay attention. God damn it. Okay, let me do this. What does this one say? Come see Mr. Head. Oh, Mr. Head was that thing we didn't see, but then showed up afterwards. We want to go down and to the left. I hope it's left. That's that same guy who made the yeah. joke about tattoos. He used to always say, um, "You remember in the early to mid two thousands, those type of beards that were really popular, where it was just like it was like the mustache and then the side of your mouth and then the goatee part, but nothing else." Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like just around the mouth, nowhere yeah, else. The, 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 yeah, just around their mouth. It's like that's the only place you have the hair. Everything else is shaved. Yeah. Hey, anytime I, somebody imagine, would, so don't, don't Anytime yeah. somebody would get one of them, he'd go, uh, oh, nice bag tickler you got there. But uh, the funniest line... The people ever, you interact with, Eric, are just like <laughs> the crudest motherfuckers on the planet. Well, you got a, the greatest fucking line I ever heard about one of those tattoos. 
is my buddy who was working at McDonald's at the time. He was off for like a week. And during that time, he grew a beard like that. And he came back and his co-workers like, oh, what you got going there? And he's like, yeah, I just decided to try it out, you know, see if I liked it. And the coworker goes, oh, well, you better make sure no one mistakes your head for a pussy and fucks you right in the mouth. <laughs> Again, like... Yeah, it's just, it's, it's so just, crude just, that it's just not <laughs> funny. Come on, that's a great joke. No, it's not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't find it that funny. It's just like... <laughs> It's just like whatever I think of that, I think like trailer trash. I just think and of I gr- like I'm trailer everyone trash, else so in the restaurant right. force laughing, being like, <laughs> "Yeah, dude, you did it, you got him." I associate with some colorful characters. What can I say? I'm not sure "colorful" is the word. <laughs> so, Mike, have you figured this out yet? Like. Yeah, Mike, come so, on. We don't need I'm to spend a whole about... episode on the fucking maze again. God, he's lost. He's fucking lost again. I give up. Just gonna go watch YouTube videos now. Okay. You guys keep talking. Do not <laughs> let me talk. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna say it out loud. Alright? Head down Wait. two. So there's one... Eric, do you have any, uh, like, bands left that you listened to as a kid that Up one. You, you would be embarrassed to listen to now? Oh, good question. You know what's funny is, like, I'm not trying to distract you, Mike. I'm just going to mention your name. But me and Mike have talked about this, but I was... We were weird kids in the sense that, like, I didn't listen to any music at all until I was, like... 11 or 12 prior to then i had like absolutely no interest in music Uh, so see like i think of music as like one of the greatest arts i agree with you now like like, now there now there's hardly like a day that goes by that i don't listen to music but for some reason as a kid i just didn't like any of it yeah like i if i'm not like watching something i always have music on yeah same See, people um, always talk about good video game soundtracks, and yeah, there are some amazing ones, I will say, but a lot of times I don't even hear the game's music because I just have fucking music playing while I'm playing the fucking game. This yeah, game, this game same is here. Music Mike, about. shut up! Pay attention! Right, on. <laughs> Why, what, what embarrassed you as a kid that... Or that would embarrass you now <laughs> that you to as a kid? I think we talked about this before, but it was, it was been like a fucking long-ass time, so I'll say it again, but like, Toby Keith... Oh, oh yeah. yeah, his genre of country music where it's like, if you're not for America, then you can go get out. If you don't like my guns, then you can get out. And it's just like that. New country, I think they called it back then. Down back then, they called it new. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be. But like now, that's like not classic country, but like. Right to. I don't know what you would call that because now country's like pop, pop country. almost. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know what that would be. Down to. At see how, time you see how long this is? I Mike, do. Shut up. Pay attention. Don't get distracted. I'm on. I'm on. Right one. Like, there's some country artists that up sing about one, cowboys right and like that kind of shit, which I'm fine with. Like, George Strait is great. Um, and I can't think of any other ones off the top of my head, Down but one. those were kind of in the same era, but George Strait right one. was never like as pro America or die as yeah. Toby Keith, I feel. Guess what, guys? You did it. I did it. We got a, we but, got a but, boss. Sorry, nice sorry. Test. We got a boss. We got a boss. But was there any music you listened to that you were embarrassed by? See, that's the thing, because I was a bit older when I got into it. Oh, yeah, okay, I guess you could count that. We bought the fucking Pokemon CD to be a master. That's pretty embarrassing. Dude, that's that's so cool. (laughs) Mike, kill him. It's just you. It's a clone of you. Damn, he's oh, fucking oh, you up. 
Man, it's like Dark Link from Zelda 2. It's like, uh... Oh, what? Heal, sir. Mike's dead. Come to the maze again. <laughs> oh, God, that was a master. Can he hit you while you're in the animation? No, no, no. Ah, oh, that's dumb. In Fallout, they can't hit you while you've got your little item screen open, so it's like, let me just pause in the middle of this gun battle and <laughs> scroll through 50 items. It's like, guys, wait, give me a second, I gotta eat this bag. He's oh, just fuck. fucking got chasing him, him around. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> eat this bag of chips. Yeah. Drink a nuke cola or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, Drink so five nuke cola. <laughs> Some sunset sarsaparillas. Yeah. Yo, this guy's sunset really... sarsaparilla. Like, what? What would that be like? Because well, Nuka Cola is obviously like Coca Cola. So, what would? Uh, Have you ever had a sarsaparilla. sarsaparilla soda? I don't think so. It's like uh, it's kind of like root beer, but like stronger and less sweet. Wow, that sounds wonderful. It does actually. Sarsaparilla. I actually, I'd heard about Fallout before because for some reason, I don't know why it was so popular among uh, bronies, but they somebody actually made a mod of like, it was like Fallout Equestria. Yeah. Where it's like Fallout, but you're ponies. Well, just run Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> Heal. You're getting fucked, Mike. Their reach or their range is so high. He's just better at this game than you are. Oh, he is the game. Mm, he's better at it. <laughs> oh, that missed. Oh, you fucked up. Psst, 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 psst. <sighs> oh, oh. We're actually coming up. Uh... Uh, probably not. Probably next recording session. Uh, the hardest boss in the game. Uh, it's just like this rat that just throws spells at you. And well, holy fuck, it will fuck you up, man. What was the... How many episodes of this have you done? Uh, I don't remember which one we're on. Uh, let's give it a quick you see. Let's see, you just uploaded... Oh, only 12. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> Ow! But I kinda wanna are finish. We, are, we, are we in the 30s? You fucking How the suck. fuck did that kill what you? What the fuck?! 170 damage. <laughs> I hope you saved. I think he has to do the maze again. Yeah, I have to do oh, all do that again. Well, we'll do it next time. <laughs> no, you know what? I'll do it off screen and, and we'll, we'll start at the we'll, boss. Yeah, we'll start at the boss. Uh, this is hilarious. Bye.